What's up guys, welcome back to Latin Chopsticks. Thank you so much for tuning in. Guys, today, like I said, I wanna work on these introductions. I want them to be a lot quicker. Today we're gonna to be going to the one of the highest rated, most touristic, believe it or not, uh, Italian restaurants in all of Orlando. And I am super excited. All the information is gonna be in the description down below with the address, the website, and everything you need to know about this place. I've never been. I know it has gotten really good reviews. I don't believe they're the best one. Uh, that's actually gonna go, and that honor is gonna go to another restaurant, which we'll talk about in the future, but it is one of the top Italian restaurants you can go to in Orlando, according to a lot of reviews, and actually some of the viewers that have reached out to me on Instagram and things like that to let me know. With that said, I will see you guys there. What's up guys, all right, finally. So we are here, we made it. It's honestly a pretty fancy place. I completely forgot to do any type of reservations and I'm actually really lucky that we ended up getting seated. Um, this here, this location is called Vicenzo's and the information is down in the description. This place is literally in the same place as the Orlando Eye, so it's in, it's right next to like a very touristy area. That's why I mentioned there's one of the most popular like Italian restaurants that I know that are in the Orlando Eye and like in a touristy area, in International Drive. With that said, we're looking over the menu now. My wife as you guys always know based on the previous Italian restaurants we've been to she's gonna order a fettuccine alfredo I don't know if it's gonna be with chicken or if it's gonna be with shrimp I'll ask her in a couple minutes for me I'm gonna go ahead and get spaghetti al polpete uh, al polpete which or con polpete Jesus can't you know sorry my pronunciation but it's just spaghetti and meatballs I know that's not Italian but I, I really just want to eat that I'm looking over I might order like a bread like they have a different dishes with like veal I'm not 100% sure if I'll get it but they do have tons of options that I'll show you guys as you guys can see this is the menu it's really nice they have a lot of different options they do have you know a lot of different appetizers so what first thing what we're gonna order is gonna be like the garlic bread I'm looking over to see if anything else I might order an order of calamari because I haven't had calamari in a while and I'm really craving it but definitely there's a lot of different options for everybody. This is one of the fancier, nicer kind of Italian restaurants you can go to in Orlando, but based on the reviews that I saw, really, really good review. All right, guys, excellent. So the first item came out and it is the garlic bread. I mean, it smells amazing, but let's go ahead and take a look at this real quick. All right, guys, this here is the garlic bread. This looks absolutely delicious as always. Now the garlic bread normally is pretty much with just the garlic bread, but for a little bit more, I think it was three bucks, you could actually add the mozzarella cheese and kind of bake it, it looks amazing. And then of course you get this, which I believe is olive oil. And I don't remember if it's peppers or, I'm not 100% sure, this wasn't on the menu, he just brought that up for us to dip the bread in, but let's go ahead and try this out. Hey right, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and try this one out. Let's go ahead and get my plate. I mean, the smell, guys, it's delicious. Let's go ahead and try this out. Mm. All right, guys, this is literally steaming hot, super soft, completely filled with seasoned butter. You can see the Italian seasoning on there. You can see how amazing and toasted that cheese is. This is amazing. It's really, really good. Mm. We're gonna put a little bit of the oil on it with the pepper. And I think it's also, I think it's oil, balsamic vinegar, a little bit of pepper, and some Italian seasoning, but I could be wrong. Let's go ahead and try this a little bit out. Just kind of put it on the bread a little bit. Let's go ahead and try this out. Mmm, God. Not for anything, but that cheese on that bread with that oil, it's an explosion of flavor in your mouth because you have that buttery goodness, delicious salty taste of the cheese. You get that amazing, like really strong kind of uh, Italian seasoning. And then you get those burnt pieces from the cheese itself besides the saltiness. And it's just, oh, it is amazing. All right guys, awesome. The next appetizer came out and it's the calamari. This looks really, really good. Let's go ahead and take a look at this. So this calamari looks absolutely amazing. The only thing I'm noticing besides this piece 
it is a little pale, so I typically like my calamari really, really, really fried. It is a little bit soft. Now, it might be because they're freshly made, but they also gave it to us with some lemon and this sauce. I'm gonna go ahead and just dip this right in here. And then I'm gonna put this on my plate. And we're gonna go ahead and try this out and just see how it is. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, usually I eat with my hands, but it's kind of a fancy place, so we'll just try this out and see how this tastes. It's not bad. It's seasoned pretty well. Not too salty, it has the pepper. But in all honesty, there's not much flavor in that batter. I think what they're trying to do is just have you enjoy this calamari, the squid, as much as you can. Um, because I feel like the, I don't know, the breading itself isn't too heavily seasoned. With that said though, it's still really good. Maybe if I add a little bit of the lemon on it, I'm gonna put this right now, just a little bit. Maybe it'll do a contrast of like the fat from the, the batter itself. Let's go ahead and try it. It's pretty good, but in my opinion, it's a little simple. It could be because of the cheese and the garlic bread that I had, but I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you guys, always. I always have been, but I'm gonna be a little more critical since I'm, I'm starting to get a little more experience with food, so. It is a little simple, it is good. It's definitely fresh, it has a bit of a chew to it. It's nice and crispy on the outside. And you have the seasoning that you can see it, but I feel like maybe it needed a little bit more salt. But like I said, it could be me, just giving the benefit of the doubt, because the garlic bread is so seasoned and delicious that it might be that. But regardless, it won't stop me from eating it. Bottoms up. All right guys, awesome. So we have our plate here. Uh, basically the spaghetti and meatballs. I did pay additional, I think it was $4 extra to get kind of meat sauce. It has a little bit more ground beef mixed into the sauce that they put on here. You guys gotta take a look at this. This looks insane. So right off the bat, I mean, the one thing that I'm noticing is look at the size. It's only two meatballs, but these are massive. Not only that, you have all the spaghetti on the bottom here. And then I'm gonna go ahead and get this knife. And we're gonna try to see if we can cut this right through the middle. And just, you can kind of see, it's not just ground beef. You have like all these seasonings and stuff like that in there. You can see kind of like the pepper and whatever else that they put in there. It looks really, really good. And it's nice and, and like juicy, which is really, really nice. But all right, we're gonna go ahead and try this out and see how it is. All right guys, awesome. So we're gonna go ahead and try this out. I'm gonna try a little bit of the spaghetti with that meat sauce and let's see how it is. Let's go ahead and try this out. Oh my god, that's really hot. Let's go ahead and try this out. Mm. The spaghetti itself. Really, really good. Chewy, which is amazing. Honestly, that meat sauce, a lot of places that I've been to here in Orlando that are Italian restaurants, with the exception of the few places that I've done videos on, whenever I order anything that has like a like a red base sauce. In all honesty, almost always it tastes it tastes canned, with the exception of the videos that we've done before in the other places. This tastes so delicious. Mm. That meatball seasoning is amazing. It's one of the best meatballs I've had. It's nice and soft, not too dense, juicy, and the seasoning that's inside is absolutely marvelous. With that said, take a look at this. So another thing I want you guys to see, I mean, you can see that I think, I'm pretty sure these are cherry tomatoes. It kind of adds a little bit of extra sweetness naturally to this. You can see the sauce, like definitely the meat sauce that you do. It is a $4 upgrade, but I mean, you can kind of see all the ground beef that's in here. It's definitely worth it, but this is 100% the star of the dish. It's absolutely amazing with a little bit of mozzarella on the top. Now we do have the option to put Parmesan, which my wife did with her fettuccine, which we'll try in a second, but this is absolutely amazing. In all honesty, I wasn't expecting it to be this good. It is definitely absolutely delicious. I know I keep repeating myself, but I'm just, I'm honestly really impressed with this. Some of the best pasta I've had. Mm. All right guys, my wife was nice enough to give me some of her Alfredo fettuccine with chicken. We're gonna go ahead and try a little bit out, kind of quick. But you guys gotta take a look at this. So the sauce itself, it's super nice and thickly covered. You have like the nice little pieces of chicken, which is, oh man, it's hidden. I should probably grab a better one, but you know, nice pieces of grilled chicken on there. It's nice, the sauce is nice and thick. It does have a lot of Parmesan because she asked for it, so they came out and just kind of gave her a lot of Parmesan as you guys can see on there but we're just gonna go ahead and try to see if we can get a little bit, try it out, and see how it is. 
let's go ahead and try this out. All right guys, so I know I cut off the video and unfortunately it's been a very long time since I used an actual dedicated camera. So of course I completely forgot there's a 30 minute, uh, like around a 30 minute limit or a file size of like 4.2 gigs on continuous recording on video on this camera. So because of that, literally as we were about to try out the Fettuccini, it cut out. So luckily it literally cut out maybe two, three minutes of footage. So I'm gonna give you a brief summary and then I'll actually insert a video right after this one telling you guys something that I noticed with that dish right after it is on the iPhone. So the audio is terrible compared to the regular audio for the rest of this video. But basically the fettuccine was really, really good. Um, the only thing I had, you will see in this next clip, but I felt like after trying it, despite it being perfectly coated, great. Uh, the sauce had really thickened up a lot because my wife decided to put a lot of Parmesan cheese on it. Um, Despite that though, I felt like some of the noodles themselves, like some of the fettuccine was like either undercooked or because the plate was so hot, it overcooked. This, some of the pasta does seem a little bit more chewy than it should be, like maybe it needed a little bit more. It could just be me because the thing is that they brought this plate out and it was super, super hot and it's a stone plate. I don't know if that makes any sense to you guys, but basically some of the pieces or like some of the strands of the fettuccine were a little tough. Uh, it, honestly, it didn't turn me away from the dish at all. I still really enjoyed it and it was really, really, really delicious. The flavor was amazing, but I had to find something like that I had to point out because it is something that was noticeable to me and maybe someone else who's a little more critical or a little bit more picky than I am might call it out. So I did want to mention it. With that said, thank you for sticking by. Enjoy the rest of the video. All right, guys, awesome. So we ended up getting, as you guys know, it's Italian, tiramisu. Let's go ahead and just check this out. All right, so this one is also a homemade, obviously the cherry isn't, but it's a homemade tiramisu. We're gonna go ahead and get a fork right here and we're gonna kind of go and dig in right here. Look at that, that looks absolutely amazing. It's completed with topped off cocoa powder. And we're gonna go ahead and try this baby out. All right guys, so we're gonna try this real quick and then we're gonna go from there. Mm. That is the creamiest. So the bottom has a, yeah, I'll show you. So the bottom itself has like a lady finger, but it's completely soaked, so it's super soft. You have this delicious, very thick cream that they put on the inside. I mean, this is definitely with, I don't know if the ladyfinger's homemade. I mean, he said the whole thing was homemade, but the flavor of this is amazing. This is, in all honesty, one of the best tiramisu's I have ever had. Mm. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Unfortunately, it also seems like the ending got pretty messed up and, and then it didn't even record, so. It is a new camera, bear with me. I appreciate I appreciate you guys sticking by with all these issues while I do like a whole bunch of different changes these last like maybe, what, two months now? I've been kind of going through different changes and I'm kind of um, putting a little bit more time, even though I'm very tight, I'm putting more time into these videos. I wanna start making them a little bit higher quality. I wanna start going to more places. I wanna start doing a better job with describing the food. So thank you so much, guys. I hope, one thing I will say, and please let me know in the comment section below, I feel like the audio has been pretty much fixed. I know last week's it was extremely loud just because the decibel recording I put it at zero. I've been kind of messing with the sound a little bit my voice should be pretty much the center of everything right now. So hopefully that's fixed for this video. I mean, based on the feedback that I saw on the, you know, editing the video, it looks like it fixed it, you know, it's, it's pretty good. With that said, thank you so much for everything, guys. I really appreciate you sticking by. I hope you enjoyed that video. Definitely one of the best Italian restaurants I've been to in Orlando. Not the best, but it is one of the best. Keep in mind, this is considered a more fancy Italian restaurant, so that is something you guys kind of have to keep in mind. So the price is a little bit inflated, in my opinion, compared to some of the other places we've been to. With that said, it's still a wonderful experience, and conveniently, it is located where the Orlando Eye is, so you technically it's super easy to go, especially if you're a tourist, because it's in a very central touristy area outside of the theme parks. Guys, thank you very much. I will see you next Sunday. And until then, let's just keep on eating.